big press here at Sundown this morning, Tuesday morning, but it's ahead of the Wolves game Saturday. Plenty of training just starting behind us. We've spoke with Boss Sam Ricketts, former Wolves player himself. We spoke with left-back Ryan Haynes, FA Cup pedigree in the run to the fifth round last season. And we spoke to the, the main man for this occasion anyway, Dave Edwards, just now. Um, of course, the main story with, with sort of, certainly Dave going ahead to this cup tie is his fitness, nursing a groin complaint from that Charlton game, his, his return where he came on and tweaked the muscle. Now he says he's recovering okay, he feels he's in a good place, he's on the grass today, he's going out to some, do some outdoor work, maybe a bit of running, in the hope to make training on Thursday. So that is his target, if he can train Thursday and obviously do what they do Friday, then he's got every chance, hasn't he, to be on, on the bench. You'd, you'd certainly think that Sam Rickards had, had opt for him as an option from the bench, what he can do and come on and, you know, who knows, grab a goal. But that's what he really wants to do. He, Dave Edwards says no way in a, in a million years he could start on Saturday, which I think we all we all realise. But what an occasion for him, you know, nine years at, at Molyneux, so many games and goals, such a well-respected figure and so important in, in their rise, you know, through through the ranks to, to where they are now. Another person who is as important, you could say, is, is Boss Ricketts, Shrewsbury Boss Ricketts. That season in, in League One for Wolves 13-14, Ricketts was captain and you know came in as club captain and was so influential in uh, in leading and organising that side and he didn't spend too much time there but he's so well respected around Wolverhampton which tells you you know in a short time there how much of an impact he had at Molyneux just such an exciting buzz to to this game we we knew as of this morning Tuesday is it Tuesday Tuesday morning uh, when the remaining tickets went on sale to the other loyalty point holders there were around seven hundred tickets left you know I'm sure by time I'm speaking now they'll basically be gone you know Wolves fans in the away end it's just there's such a buzz around this place the locality of it that the scale of it for Shrewsbury the fourth round you know they've only been to this stage I think four times in in 30 years they've only been to the fifth round twice in 35 years there's just it's a real chance to write these players names in history I mean to overcome a club Wolves you know top seven top eight of the Premier League is a mammoth task it really is you know they've had the big and big guns here recently, but Wolves are at the next bracket down, aren't they? They're touching on those top four, top six. Huge, huge, huge task, but a huge reward that lies at stake. Speaking to Dave Edwards just there about 78, 79, Shrewsbury's best ever run to the quarter final, where it was Wolves and a replay and a packed Molyneux, a packed Gay Meadow. You know, to do something like that, you go down in folklore, as, as the manager said. Um, just a couple of other sort of little bits from the manager. Uh, there's a Central League Cup today, 1 o'clock against, against Bournemouth. Sean Morley will be involved in that. Uh, he's coming back from a hamstring injury, Sean Morley. Had a torrid time with injury, but he'll have some time either from the bench or from the off. And if that goes well and he can train later in the week, then hope to have him possibly on the bench against Wolves, which will be a massive boost as well to have the return of Worley. Sam Ricketts uh, says you know, the, the movement in the window is, is going on like it always is. I expect... A, couple of things to possibly happen this weekend so who knows could who knows could be fresh faces in the 18 against Wolves but uh, yeah for all the build up for this weekend's game stick with shropshirestar.com